Welcome to the channel. If you have a basic laser like this, you soon realise that you can't change the speed of your lead screw without changing the gears. Because you might be threading and then you want to do some machining, so you've got to keep changing the gears, which is a nuisance. But even so, if you had uh, a better laser, uh, if, you, if you're doing something in your chuck with a dividing head, you still can't move your lead screw. So what I've done is made an auxiliary drive which goes on the side of your lead screw. This is just using a windscreen wiper motor. Now this is a two-speed windscreen wiper motor and it's also got a variable speed voltage controller. This way you've got a fair range of speed. Now I use this to cut the gears. At the moment I'm cutting out a 68 tooth gear using my dividing head. Now how do you know which hole pattern to use on the dividing head? Well here's the calculation. Now I have got a hole pattern which is 34, which is half of 68. Now to work it out, you divide, six, divide 60 by 68, which is what my gearing is on my dividing head, and then you multiply it by 34, which means you need 30 holes on the, on the plate to be able to cut that. Now when you're using a dividing head, you have to make sure your laser is switched off at the power point. And also you have to have a lock on this to make sure this is not engaged. You've got to have one or the other going. You can't have both going, otherwise you'll break the gears. Now let's cut a few teeth. Now to change to the next tooth, it can be a bit confusing because the handle is going forwards and the spider is going backwards. So here's the next tooth. Now here's a close-up of my auxiliary drive. Now 
Now here's my finished gear. It turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching.